If he gets wind of it, there's a bullet for each of us. Not if we kill him first. How you handle snitches here in Chicago? Because in New York, we bury them. Well, you deserve to die. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang. Power Book 4, Season 2, Episode 4. This episode was a good one, to say the least. And one thing about Power, they always are going to end their episodes off on a banger. And that's what we got within this one. So, of course, you guys know what we do here. Recap and break down everything that happened within each and every episode, every week. And then, coming up, we, of course, make theories and predictions based off the storylines and how we see them playing out going forward forward and one already coming true we gotta dive of course into the flynn family within this episode i literally just made a video talking about the flynn family starting off their own civil war within each other to fight for power and control for the flynn organization we got a lot of hints and details towards that with claudia even talking about killing walter flynn so you know we got to talk about that then you guys know every recap we start off with janard because this nigga can't get right he gotta be the worst boss connect or anything in power universe history so we gotta start off with that nigga and his whole shit within this episode because his his team not fucking with him no more he's fucking ruining everything and he's spiraling out of control and i think it's just gonna get worse and worse from here and you guys know we of course gotta end up with tommy diamond and dmac dmac and tommy well dmac besides tommy tommy is pretty much everyone's favorite character dmac though is my favorite character besides him and he put in work within this episode we saw at the end of episode three tommy gave jp a gun to protect himself and dmac went and took it and within this episode he used that bitch so we're gonna dive into the details of that once again you guys can leave a like comment subscribe let me know any other theories predictions you have or you would like to see me talk about also for my the shy fans mid-season finale is tonight that video will be dropping in the morning so be on the lookout for that i already got my thumbnail i'm hyped for that episode but back to power book force once again a lot of shit went on within this episode and i'm here to break it down and recap everything and also give a few hints and details of how things could continue to play out also i think the trailer for episode five already dropped so i might have a section diving into that on its own as well so we could get a few more hints and details we also have to talk about tommy getting closer to maria it's her name getting closer to miguel's sister so that's gonna play a big important factor later on in the story as well also him getting followed by the fucking law enforcement this entire episode having no idea so they're getting closer and closer in on vic cbi tommy all of them so we gotta pay a closer attention to that once again leave a like comment subscribe and let's get right into it once again we always start with this nigga janard because bro he gives me a headache he can't do anything correctly he can't run a team he can't control a business he got so many fucking problems so we saw at the end of episode three he killed lil k of course lil k tried to shoot back at tommy because tommy killed chewy so that whole situation went on and now his whole all his boys his team treason they're looking at this nigga trying to figure out where lil k at this nigga just lying keeping it from him not to mention he's doing heroin and doing this doing all that product he's mixing it with baby powder and shit now to make up for the product he's doing also he went to miguel he couldn't fucking pay to him his money he didn't come for the re-up so he's fucking up over there and he still has problems with the serbs because the territories he promised them at the end of season one are occupied by tommy and diamond so he couldn't even give them that so he has he still has problems with these serbs as well so literally bro has no fucking ally unless you count the girl he's fucking with shanti but she's obviously just using that nigga no way she can't see how stupid this dude is so within this episode once again he's just doing a boatload of product he killed lil k and now his team or people within treason found out and basically half his team left this nigga and disbanded he got in a whole fight they didn't jump this nigga and he's just spiraling more and more and more out of control and i don't see how it gets any better for him anytime soon like we saw in earlier this season he tried to go partner up with claudia 
wasn't happening fucking he's not fucking with diamond and them he really has no allies and everyone against him he has so many enemies even his own team doesn't trust this nigga because he has so many fuck ups and makes so many fucking mistakes over and over and over again like i legitimately can't think of one thing he did correctly this season it's just so funny i don't know what he could do to get out of this spiraling out of control like it just gets worse and worse and worse i think eventually tommy and diamond are just gonna be able to take the whole territory that this nigga has because sooner or later he's not gonna be able to maintain it the serbs are already out to kill this nigga miguel already threatened to kill this nigga within this episode so it's just getting worse and worse and worse from him he needs to go back to dime he needs to go back and get help it's so funny he wanted to be his own man and own boss but he's so bad at it like just like drastically bad like i once again i said in the intro he's probably the worst boss connect or anything in power universe history and that's saying a lot because we had a many bosses many connects many people trying to get power and control and this nigga actually got it and did absolutely nothing with it but you guys let me know where you see his character going how you think they fix him if he gets a better because currently bro is probably the he's the funniest because he's fucking up everything but he's the worst at doing what he's supposed to be doing I want to jump into the Tommy Diamond and D-Max shit second action. I usually save the best shit for last, but I'm too excited to talk about this. So within this episode, Tommy kept blurring around, walking around and seeing Diamond, of course, talking to Seamus, not knowing who he is. He thinks fucking Diamond is snitching, basically giving this nigga information about him. And Tommy pulls out a gun, threatens to kill Diamond, calls him a snitch, shit like that. And Diamond finally comes clean about what's going on. Of course, he's paying Seamus because his sister was on drugs. Now she's ill and he's giving him money basically to fund her medication and everything like that so he's been doing this for a while now and now tommy's told him he's gonna cut that shit short they gonna have a meeting a negotiation fix all this because they're not just about to keep giving him free money shit like that so tommy's plan was basically to get information within the cpd about them to get information about what's going on within the organization if they know about tommy diamond cbi the flans everything like that he wanted access to information now Seamus was kind of bugging I'm not gonna lie he was tweaking out within this episode or within that scene I guess you could say pulled out a gun on them and threatened to kill both of them and when that happened this nigga D-Mac walked down the stairs pop this nigga now once again D-Mac besides Tommy is my favorite character and I'm happy to utilize this nigga once again because I thought they were just gonna push him up to the back burner but it looks like they might let him back into the big storylines so we saw at the end of episode three D-Mac took the gun that Tommy gave the JP now I didn't expect him or them to use it so early on within the season literally the next fucking episode but I'm glad that they did once again D-Mac went and popped this nigga he talked to Tommy me earlier within this episode about getting back into the business he wants to work he wants to make money shit like that and tommy told him no if he do that if he see him in the streets he might have to take him out himself but d mac didn't fucking listen he went and he popped the shameless nigga now that nigga is a part of the cpd this is gonna bounce back on them heavy so we gotta see how that continues to play out and d mac i don't know if tommy will continue to push him away or just allow him back in and see that he can't do it anymore he might give that nigga the Tariq treatment you remember when Tommy went and hung that nigga Tariq off the fucking roof because he went and stole product for him and shit like that and then Tariq killed his dad he might not want B Mac to turn out like that. That he don't nobody wants their son or nephew or anything to turn out like Tariq. So he might give that nigga the Tariq treatment sooner or later. But D Mac, I'm glad they utilizing this nigga once again. We gotta see how this continues to play out. I'm hoping they don't just push him into the background once again. Don't fucking do that. Like he has too much promise within his story and they they actually introduced a love interest for him within the season so i think they are gonna have him in more scenes doing his own thing getting back inside of shit so that's gonna be interesting to see and i can't fucking wait but once again d mac popped the shameless nigga at least diamond don't gotta pay him no money no more at least they wrapped up that whole storyline but moving on 
And last up, the Flynn Family Civil War. Now, if you want more details about this, I literally just dropped a video two days ago talking about the Flynn family, how they're gonna start a civil war and how this leads to Tommy getting revenge on Claudia for Liliana's death. So you could check out that whole deep dive and video because I go into full details. Of course, this is a quick recap and breakdown, so I can't do all that, but we did get new information within this episode. So we saw throughout this whole season, of course, Vic, not fucking with Walter. He killed Gloria, shit like that. So Vic is working back with him under the pretenses that their family and shit again, he's gonna take control once Walter is gone. But Vic, of course, is planning to dismantle the whole organization one brick at a fucking time. And we saw that within the last episode where they were working with these two new guys and Vic called the police, snitched on this nigga, told him he had opioids in a briefcase, and then he popped and killed the other nigga. So Vic, he's been setting moves into motion. Claudia within this episode, we see she want to fast pace that. I talk about in that video I just showed you guys talking about the Civil War that her fight for hunger and power is getting out of control. She within this episode makes a deal with the Serbs to go behind Walter's back and she aligns once again with her brother Vic. Now we saw earlier this season they already had problems teaming up because Claudia does shit without getting any fucking type of notice or talking to her partners at all we saw that earlier in the season once again when claudia killed the doc without vic knowing just going to do the shit because she thought the doc released the whole formula for dahlia when it was of course time so now they're working together again with the serbs against their father and vic says within this episode if walter finds out they both have a bullet with their name on it. And this girl, Claudia, says they need to take him out first. She basically said he already got one foot in the grave. I don't actually remember when she found out about his illness, but he does. And she says they want they could take him out swifter than that, fast, get rid of him. And he, even though Vic don't fuck with his father, he's not trying to just kill him. That's a little bit too cold-blooded, a little too heartless. And once again, in that deep dive video, I talk about how Claudia, he's gonna eventually see this is not her sis his sister anymore. She's fighting for too much power and control. Like, she's losing it. She's the girl version of Jannar. And we see she's getting deeper and deeper. And this whole season, she has been trying to align with everybody. She's probably between both seasons had an alliance with it in every character in both fucking sides she aligned with tommy of course with the dahlia shit she talked to janard earlier in the season just aligned with the serbs like she's just trying to form any alliance any way shape or form she could see the game power and control she goes for her. and now walter got a lot of shit going on with paulie uh paulie went and visited one of his enemies and shit like that so he got rid of that nigga so now he's losing valuable and loyal men and he got his two kids trying to take him down and he doesn't see it coming so once again i said this nigga walter will be dying by the end of the season i say he's gonna go out in a blaze of glory or i expect expect him to he's not going down by cancer that's just not the his character type like bro he's gonna go out shooting at the very least and i think once again this is gonna pin vic and claudia against one another because vic is gonna see it as claudia is going too far she's too far gone once again i talked about deep dive go check that video out i talked about how all these kills she's getting from the very beginning she killed the girl she was working with then she killed the fucking doc she killed liliana and then she killed that other nigga who was stalking her stabbed him in his eye shot him so she's off her fucking she's out her mind right now that's all i can really say about her and i think she's just gonna continue to get worse and worse and worse ultimately into this family is completely split apart so we gotta continue to see how all that plays out but yeah the flynn family civil war is definitely on the rise and as far as the preview trailer only information we get is that within this next episode claudia is gonna try to take down walter now there's a specific shot and scene right here where she is holding a gun she's hugging Vic, everything like that now this could be the scene where they find out that he's finally dead the shit is over everything on the sword or i think this is the scene where the two siblings completely split apart and the civil war is up in the air once again i highly suggest you guys go check out my video breaking down this full situation because i saw that shit coming i think in this next episode i think vic might save walter's life and i think 
Claudia is not gonna be fucking with this and she might point a gun at Vic, might threaten to take him out. And want, at that moment, he's gonna realize Ain't no talking sense into her. That's not his sustaining lore. And they're gonna be forever at odds. They already been at odds basically both seasons. But now I think it's gonna come to an end within this next episode. You guys let me know what you think about season two, episode four of Power Book Force. Once again, I'm just happy to use it, my boy D Mac once again. Like I thought they was just gonna push him off into the background. They barely showed him in the other episodes, but now he's back within the shit. Tommy, once again, tried to make a move with the Seamus nigga before D-Mac killed them so he could give them information that the police have on the whole organization so he could be one step ahead, but D-Mac took that nigga out. Janar, once again, Mr. Can't Get Right, can't do nothing right, fucking losing his whole business, all his friends, all his men, doing drugs, can't pay Miguel, can't pay off the Serbs. Like he has so many problems that like, bro can't get any help. Like just spiraling out of control. And last but not least, of course, the Flynn family drama. I already mentioned if you want more details on that, I already have a video up on that. But next episode, it looks like that whole family drama is gonna come to a climax with them trying to kill walter we gotta we have yet to see how that's gonna play out you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments once again leave a like subscribe and i'm out